So, apparently Oreos have made their way into cereals. Apparently, now sugar for breakfast. Sour Patch Kids have already done this before. I don't know how that worked out. Did it, did it work out? I know Markiplier made a video on this, and then I realized that something similar kind of happened and I forgot what it was. But now, we now know that it is with Oreos. Who did this post? Uh, aren't these the guys who didn't want you to masturbate? Is this the guy that didn't want you to masturbate? Yeah, was it Kellogg or Post that didn't want you to masturbate? Want you to masturbate? I swear, some serial company didn't want you to masturbate or something. Okay, so it was Kellogg who wanted to stop. So Post loves, loves masturbation. masturbation. And that's okay. But now, Oreos for breakfast? Apparently so. But apparently it's also a sweet thing. And you know how much I've got a sweet tooth. So I don't know why I brought my laptop out here. I think it's just because I Googled whether it was Kellogg or Post that didn't want you to masturbate. So if there's any reason why I need Google information, I got these things. So, in all honesty, I've never had these before in my life. I just got these. My sister has had them, which is why the box is open, but I never had them. Uh, so, proper cereal opening etiquette requires you to do random and say random things. And I'm being a bootleg Markiplier. It's like chocolate pretzels. So hang on, let me um. Okay, I immediately have a problem. These are really big. Hang on, uh, let me. I'm gonna adjust the camera on this so I can so you can see it. I gotta just zoom. Wait for it to focus. There she is. So, compared to like finger size, this is bigger than a regular Cheerio, or something like that. But um, yeah, it's very weird. It's got like frosting on it or something, which I'm assuming is like the cream or such that they have it between Oreos, which is not a lot. <laughs> something else has cream between it. Future me? There wasn't a joke about the human anatomy. Okay, so, got the camera angles up. Whatever, this is how I usually sit when I eat cereal anyways. If you know me, and yes, I'm gonna be criticized and hated on for this, but I don't like milk in my cereal because I like a crunch in my cereal. Because this just proves how much I'm pretty much either a flavor-based eater or a texture-based eater. Because I love the taste of cereal, but if there's milk in it, it gets so soggy that the texture's off and it doesn't suit well with the liquid. It feels mushy, it feels like it's expired, you know? So that's kind of why I'm doing this. But um, yeah, whatever, I'm just gonna try one of these. Honestly, just just tastes like a chocolate Cheerio. <laughs> there is that that little bit of chocolate that you would find in an Oreo cookie. Now, if I'm thinking of any milk, I'm gonna be right back. I'm gonna regret this so much, aren't I? I don't like milk in my cereal, but if this is gonna work and why I think this might work, I don't know. Just um, I'm just gonna have jug of milk right beside me in case. I really should have prepped for this. This is like my pizza video. I literally should have prepped for this, and yet I didn't. So, oh, there's, there's a piece right here. Um, I'm gonna try this without milk. Whole milk. The only milk that exists. Everything else is water. Yeah, um, I'll try it. I can taste some cream in there. That's um interesting. I'm not a fan of it, but I am gonna eat it. I'm gonna add a little bit of milk in this because that's kind of what I have to do for cereal etiquette. I'm just hoping I don't spill any. The purpose of cereal, it's meant to be crunchy, right? So that's kind of why I don't like milk in my cereal whatsoever. Yeah, I have a hard time with milk. I'm not lactose intolerant. I don't know if these are like, vegan Oreos or just regular Oreos. 
there is a difference. I know there has to be a difference at something. I think the reason why I'm gonna do this with milk is because it's supposed to be with milk. Oreos are supposed to be with milk. You dunk it in milk. All right, here we go. That's fascinating. I'm not saying it's good, but that is just fascinating how like, it tastes exactly like an Oreo and milk. God, I'm making a mess. Whatever, I'm, it's a Tomaflex video. Of course there's gonna be consequences. But uh, Oreo. Brand deal me. I will say terrible things about you. So, honest review, I have no idea. It does taste like an Oreo. It's just that that's very unnatural. And there's the sogginess. Well, that's gonna do it for this video. So review, I'm being generous, a seven out of 10. My three points because- <laughs> Because it doesn't last on much in the milk. It doesn't really have much of the cream in it that you would find in a regular Oreo. And it's just very, uh, it just kind of tastes sort of sad and dry for some parts. So yeah, seven out of 10. Oreo, brand deal me. I'm expecting a sponsorship very soon. So, yeah, thank everybody so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Please make sure to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Tap the notification bell so you never miss a video from me. And until next time, I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.